What up, everyone? So, uh, as I stated in a previous video, I'm probably not going to get to all the boxes of February because I'm already behind on it. So, this is actually a box from March. They've already started coming, and this is where it gets confusing. So, I, even though I'm not getting to all the ones of February, I want to make sure I'm up to date on March. So, I want to review them as they come in, and I'll still try to backtrack and do as many boxes in February as possible. But we'll see what we can do. In the meantime, we got our unboxing and review of the Legion of Collectors. And I'm assuming this is a Superman box. Um, they always reveal the themes beforehand, but I, I never check the websites, and I never read their emails or anything like that, so I never know. But I think it's safe to assume that it's Superman. So, let's open this up and see what we got. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure a bunch of you are wondering... Um, that Funko announced they're doing a Disney box coming up, and if I'm getting that, and yes, I am going to. I'm surprised it took them this long. I've always thought they should have done a Disney box, so I'm going to get that one, and I will review it. I think it comes in April. Not sure. Anyway, so we got our classic patch and pin, and it looks like we got Superman. No surprise. So on the patch, it looks like we got kind of a 80s, possibly 90s version of Superman. And then on the pin... It looks like more of a 50s version of Superman. So at least they're going with different versions. But the only downside to that with Superman is that he really hasn't changed that much over the years. Most other characters have gone through all kinds of makeovers throughout time. Um, but Superman stayed pretty much the same. So not too much of a difference. Alright, the only thing that's really changed about him is kind of his hair length. So first we got a shirt. No surprise. Mm -hmm. Take a look. I do like this color of blue, though. It's a very nice color. Mmm. Smells new and fresh. And we got a pop version of Superman. Big fucking surprise, as we always get. I've said this a million times before. I realize it's a Funko box, but it's also a DC box. I wish they would switch it up and not do pop versions of everything. I wish they would just do normal comic style for, like, the comic covers and maybe the t-shirts, because we already get pop figures in there. We don't need everything to be a pop version and you know again not that this is bad the shirt's fine it's still cool it's just too much of a good thing so i wish they would mix it up but i've kind of been saying that from day one and i don't think they care and i don't think they're going to change it anytime soon so there we go we got another pop shirt the good news is at least the shirts typically fit pretty well oh fell over. all right so let's see what we got in the box a pop version of superman no surprise so this is just a different stance, hands on his hips. So again, this is kind of like the 50s version a little bit. Yeah, it kind of seems like that with the, his, the way his suit is there. Could be wrong. Okay, yeah, got a Superman pop. Big surprise. Let's see what else we got. Another Superman pop, just much smaller. So I'm really starting to like the, I've kind of always liked the pocket versions of the pops better than the regular ones, because as far as the quality on them, they're about the same. The paint job and the sculpt is always very simple on the pop figures. So the pocket pops are always about the same in quality, and they just take up much less space. So, and they're doing it more and more, and I kind of like those. And I honestly like this pose of Superman a lot better than the bigger pop, because this is when he's actually flying. So he's actually got a flying pose. So you can actually hang him up, and he looks like he's flying. So I actually like the pose on that one better than the full-size one. All right, next, we got an Action Comics action figure of Superman. So essentially, this is a reaction figure. I don't know if you remember reaction figures, but this is essentially what they were. Um, no one really liked the reaction figures very much, so they've stopped, they technically stopped making them, but they haven't really. This is a reaction figure, they just stopped calling them that. They stopped calling them reaction and just have called them by different names over time. So this is still a reaction figure, though, because it's the exact same quality and the exact same style. This one's kind of okay, though, because it's the 50s version of Superman, and action figures like that would have looked very similar to this, so it's okay in this instance that he's a little more simplistic, but normally I'm not a fan of the reaction figures. But we have seen a lot of this action comics. We've gotten stuff from Loot Crate recently and from other boxes of this specific cover. So, yeah, there we go. Superman reaction figure. Pretty much the only thing in that box that wasn't a Superman pop. Speaking of Superman pop... There he is in the comic, again. So like I was saying, I wish they would change it up a little bit. We got the pop figure, we got the mini pop, we don't need the exact same thing on the shirt and the comic. Switch it up, do some different styles, have some different artists. 
And as far as the covers go, this one's not designed too horribly. The design on it and the art on it is okay, it's decent, but it's just something we're seeing a little bit too much of in one box. And that's all the items. So we got four Superman Pop items and one reaction figure. A little bit heavy. And like I was saying, I, I realize Superman is a very popular character and obviously I would have no problem devoting a whole box to him, but they really need to try and change it up as much as possible. Like I was saying, Superman hasn't changed much over the years, very minimal changes at best, but they still got to do their best to try to mix it up. They could have put some villains in there or something like that, or even like Crypto or something to kind of change it up a little bit. It seems very, very heavy towards one specific item, but you know... That's just me. Anyway, we'll take a short little break and we'll come back, talk about some value, and give this box a rating. See you soon. All right, we are back. Let's talk about some value on this box. First, the shirt. Uh, the design was fine. Uh, it's just not very original. It's something they've done a little too much. And I, as far as the score on the shirt, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Um, the good thing is the quality on these is usually pretty decent. They're usually of good material and pretty fitted, so I like that they do their own shirts and don't just print it on Gildan or anything like that. So, but it'll get the standard $12 to $15 value. Next, the pop figure. As of right now, um, I probably should have mentioned this before, um, this box isn't brand new, but it's fairly new. So uh, this came a couple days ago, so the values are still going to be on the high end, and it'll probably dip down a little bit. The value on the pop right now is like 25 26 and that will most likely drop to eventually probably below 20 I can see it ending up probably around like 18 or 19 but as of right now, it's at the 25 to $26 range. But I definitely know that'll drop because it's just not that original. There's too many Superman pop figures that are already out there, and it's just not different enough to really set itself apart. So I can't really see that increasing in value over time. Uh, next, the Pocket Pop. Same situation. It's just been done too many times. Value on that's only five or six, and that may drop a dollar or something like that, but that'll probably stay around that price, and that's pretty much what those pocket pops cost anyway, so that's just average price. Then, our little action figure. This one, as of now, is going for about 12 to 15, but the same thing. I can't imagine this going up at all, and that'll probably go down a little bit. Probably it'd be under $10 after all is said and done. Because that's kind of the way the reaction figures went. There were a lot of them. None of them are very good in quality. And they just didn't hold value. And it was hard to sell any of them, even for stores to sell it. This one's kind of cool. Like I, I like the fact that it's the Action Comics from, what, 1938, I think. Um, but yeah, so I, I like the style of it in that sense. But again, it's, not, it's just not that great. It's just the quality on these reaction figures, or whatever they're calling them now, has never been that good. And kind of never will be. So I, do, I can't imagine these increasing in value over time at all. Then, our comic book. This is at 4 to 5. That's pretty standard. It won't go up. It might go down a little bit. Um, the, the comics in these boxes are almost never worth anything. And the cover is nothing special. So, no surprise there. And lastly, our patch and pin combo. That goes for about 6 to 7. And that's common as well. That's almost always the case for these boxes. The pair of them usually go for right around... Six or seven dollars, so no surprise there. So that brings our total value of on the low end 64 and on the high end 74, which is right at double. But like I was saying, these values will definitely drop over the next week or so. So my estimation, I can't be exact, but I'm going to estimate this box will end up being worth probably but somewhere between 50 and 60 dollars, which is just below double. Still good, still good on the value, but that's probably where it'll end up. And it's for the same reason I keep saying is that they pushed one thing too much. It's, it's overdone, and they've already saturated the market with it. There's already been Superman versions of everything in here, and now they're just kind of doing it again. Like I said, Superman's cool and all. I know he's very popular, but if they're making a Superman box, they should have switched it up in so many different ways. Like I said, added other characters from the Superman genre, maybe some villains, something like that, but they didn't. They went with the same style uh, Superman and just kind of varied it through the years. And they didn't even do like a different costume, like his Doomsday costume, where it was like what he's going to be in the Justice League, where it was black and white with his long hair. That would have been one variation, which I, I'm not even sure if they've done. I'm sure they did a long time ago. They could have easily done that and changed it up a little bit, but they did the exact same style. And they did the pop version of Superman on everything. The comic, the shirt, 
the pop, the pocket pop. The only thing in here that wasn't was this reaction figure, which wasn't really great quality. So this box is very uninspired, not very imaginative, not very much thought put into it whatsoever. It kind of just seems like this cookie cutter box now, which is fine if that's what you want, but if you're trying to get collect things and you want to collect things of value, this probably isn't the box to do that. So that being said, I'm gonna give this a six out of 10, because at the end of the day, it was still good. I, I'm not really saying this box was bad, it's just never blowing me away anymore. It's never been great. It just kind of seems like something they're throwing out there because Funko loves money, and that's kind of it. So they really need to change up the style, do some different artistic styles, some different colors, some costume changes, something to have it stand out. But this was just very, very generic. So I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10. Um, because it still had decent value, you still got good stuff, but it just wasn't that great. There was nothing special about it. But you know, it still hits all the markers just fine, but nothing very special. But anyway, as always, let me know what you guys thought about this box, and hopefully I'll be able to get some, to some of the February boxes, but who knows, and lots of collectible reviews to come. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and we'll talk about it there. Thank you all for watching. Let me know what you thought. Love you all. Peace.